Hey guys, I am in Denmark this week. I'm spending seven days here and I decided to do some yarn stores tour in this amazing, beautiful city. Now I'm in Copenhagen and actually I'm just going to stay in Copenhagen during this trip. And I decided to make the introduction of this video here in this part of the city, which is amazing. And I am next to the Little Mermaid statue, which is super, super beautiful. So stay here with me in this video because I found some amazing stores to share with you. If you're new here in the channel, I am Bianca from Crochetnix and in today's video I'm sharing with you some of the best yarn stores that I found in Denmark and they are amazing. Some of them I found on Google Maps, others I checked in blogs and I read lots of reviews to decide which store I was going to um, give it a try and that's it. Come with me in this video because I am sure you're going to like it. Hey guys, so I just got here in the first yarn store. This is called Summer Flugin. I have no idea how to pronounce it. It looks like a very, very big store and I'm super excited to see it. Let's get inside. This is a very big store and they have like, this is enormous. They have like a huge variety of yarns here. I still haven't seen any cotton yarn, which you know, I'm a fan. There are lots of... I'm carrying my gloves. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have anywhere else to put them. Um, this is the name of their store. Summer Fugen. I actually love their art. It's very beautiful. There are lots of accessories and pillows all over the store. It's amazing. Yeah, as you can see, they have lots of embroidery um, threads. Oh, there's a beautiful selection of buttons here. Oh, I'll check if there's something interesting for me. Um, I usually don't usually don't like to speak that loud when I'm in stores like this. Um, first of all, I'm very shy. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's very difficult for me to record these videos outside. You have no idea how uncomfortable I can get. But these yarns um, have like a very very nice quality. I wish I had more time to knit. So I'll definitely try one of these. This is a very interesting thread to create um, eyebrows in a migrami, so I'll probably buy one of those. It's very interesting because they have this Daruma brand, which is from Japan, and this was one of the things that I've bought in my trip to Japan. I bought exactly this package here. I have exactly the same at home. Hey, I found some cotton yarn here. Yeah, this is 100% cotton. I will take a look at this brand when I get home because I don't know if they're from Denmark, but I'm interested in it. But it's nice that they have it. Yeah, and this was my visit to the Summer Flugin store. Um, now I'll go to the second store and it was very very difficult for me to record and it's so difficult right now because i don't know where to look in my cell phone i'm feeling like uh, a granny doing this right now <laughs> um yeah guys i am very shy um i think you have already realized that um in recording this video inside the store was something so difficult i didn't think it would be so hard and Usually I'm with my husband doing this stuff and he encourages me to do that. And now that I was alone in the store, it was like people were staring at me. Um, it's weird, it's super weird. I'm feeling so uncomfortable, but I really want to record this video. And now I'm heading to the second floor. Okay, I'll keep talking because otherwise I will forget. Oh, this is a nice store. Let me just check this one. But um, as I was saying, <laughs> I got excited. As I was saying, um, people in the store were very nice and they were very friendly to me. They asked where I was from and I said that I'm from Brazil and it's my first time visiting Denmark. Um, and the, the people who were working at the store, they were super nice as I said. And I asked them for permission to record the videos and etc. But more people started to arrive in the store and it was getting more crowded and 
yeah, I was not that comfortable to keep recording there. So that's why I'm doing that now in the street. It's a bit easier for me. Um, they had like a huge variety of wool and yarns for knitting and embroidery. I, I don't know if embroidery is something like bigger here in Denmark. Um, but I couldn't find that many cotton yarn brands that were the, the only one um, I found was the one that I bought. I can show you that later, like all the things that I purchased here. But I always pause my video when someone is getting closer to me because I am not comfortable doing that. But it's a beautiful place. Look at this. Yeah, it's nice. Um, again, talking about the store. Um, they only had this one called Neon brand that I purchased and it looks like a very good quality yarn maybe if I lived here and I would use that for sure because and maybe if I lived here in Denmark I would definitely try to use that more often usually when I travel the yarns that I buy are uh, neutral colors because otherwise I will not be able to use them again um, so that's why I always focus on white or black. Um, yeah, those sorts of colors when I'm buying different yarns that I know that I won't be using in the future. And that's it. I will stop because people are looking at me and I don't know if I want to continue doing that right now in the street. This is not yarn related, but I simply found this store and I will enter it because I'm a coffee and tea lover and this store looks amazing. Oh, and it looks like I got you the right place. Ooh, Olstead? Oh my God. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this store looks nice. Let's get inside. This is the second store and we have this shiny yarn, which is super beautiful. I had never seen something like this before. Looks like another store which is super focused on wool and knitting yarn. Yeah, this is too fuzzy. I would not use this for embroideries. They do have acrylic as well, but you know I don't like to crochet with acrylic. Not 100% acrylic, only when it's knit. Wool here, and they have some handmade products as well, which are super beautiful. This is super beautiful. Oh my god, look at this bag. Oh my dear lord, this is so beautiful. Oh, I don't know if it's a Danish brand, but this is amazing. Look how cute this needle gauge is. Let me see if you can focus. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it well, but it's super nice. I loved it. There's been quite a while I don't need, but I got interested in it. Okay guys, so I stopped recording while I was in the street because something happened. I dropped my cell phone in the middle of the street, my goodness. How do people do this kind of stuff? I mean, um, I usually see influencers doing this and they are always so comfortable talking in the street and recording, walking and talking to the audience. Really, this is not easy. I know this is not the focus of the video, but it really impressed me how difficult it was for me and I will keep recording because there are more yarn stores to visit. But I just wanted to share this part with you because I didn't expect it would be that difficult. And not only the part of recording itself, but yeah, I dropped my cell phone and I usually use this type of microphone here and it almost broke and I couldn't manage to fix while I was in the street. So I was like, okay, let me stop recording and then I'll show everyone what I bought. Okay, I got to the third yarn store. This is called Dante Grown. <laughs> you see that these names are not easy for me to pronounce. I have no idea how to speak Danish. 
but yeah, let's get inside. This resort is amazing and the owner of the resort is such a nice person. She was talking to me explaining all the different yarns they have, where they come from. She was talking to me about this one here which is from a Norwegian um, city. So let me see if I can show it to you. It's called Tromso and let me see. This one is cotton yarn a very good one um, she's lovely I mean she's explaining everything it looks like she knows all about the yarns where they come from and they have like a huge variety of wool um, again I think they're mo more focused on knitting products than crocheting amigurumis for example they do have lots of crochet hooks from clover i saw it out there but not too much yarns for amigurumis my husband is talking to her because he is i always talk about it but i mean he likes crochet and eating and he's always interested in these things but yeah look it's amazing i'm in love with this store and she showed me an amazing, amazing brand. This is a yarn that they told me it's their brand. You can see the name of the company here, Tantigrom. It's cotton yarn. I will definitely buy these. I'll definitely buy one of these. And this one here, I'm super, super interested. This one is it's, uh, Betunia. It's a very interesting material. I will definitely purchase one of these. Here at the back of the store, they have more wool, as you can see. There are some nice buttons here and then some accessories. Stitch markers. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is very nice and they have lots of um, handmade products being exposed here in the store. Everything is very well made, pretty stitches everywhere. That's awesome. Okay guys, you saw that I was trying to record the video outside of the store because I wanted to share with you my experience with the store, my impressions about the materials that they sell there and how was the customer service, things like that, which were amazing by the way. But I told you that my microphone fell on the floor and it's not working 100% right now. So I'm having to be, I'm being very cautious right now. Like I record and I pause because I don't know if it, the sound is good or not. And I'm sorry for that, but I'll have to take care of it when I get back home. I'm still in the hotel as you can see, but in my hair is a mess. I want this video to be as real as possible. So yeah, let me show you what I bought in the store right now. Talking about the store, the name is Tante Grom and I am so sorry, as I said, I have no idea how to speak Danish and I am studying Finnish right now. I think I mentioned it before and I guess my pronunciation in Finnish is good. I mean, it's not that difficult for us Brazilians to pronounce the words in Finnish, but I have no idea how to do it in Danish and I don't know how to speak the language. So I am so sorry if you're Danish or you speak the language and I'm saying all the names of the store, I mean, I'm mispronouncing all the names of the store because I have no idea how to speak it. But, okay, focusing on the store right now, they gave me this beautiful bag um, there is the name of the store here written in it and the owner of the store is amazing she's such a lovely person oh my god I totally recommend if one day you plan to visit Denmark and you stay a couple of days in Copenhagen this is a must-go yarn store because you will not regret first of all they have lots of yarn and Secondly, I mean, as I said, the uh, service was amazing because the woman, Suzanne, she knows everything. 
I was like, yeah, you really know everything. She knows about the uh, where is the yarn produced. She knows about everything, you know, like this yarn was produced in this place, but it's another, I don't know, it's an Italian company, but it's produced in this country. This one is from Norway. This one is from, so she knows a lot. And it's nice to talk about it. Um, she introduced me some yarns and I'll show you what I bought and some things she gave to me. So that's why I really want to share it with you. Um, this yarn, Petunia, I bought because she uh, showed it to me and she said it was um, different material and this petunia I have to do some research about this and I still haven't got the time to do it but it is a good yarn it's very very soft I'm very curious to work in an amigurumi with it um, let me see it is a hundred percent something <laughs> I have no idea how to speak Danish and I don't know what it is but it's not cotton. I don't know if petunia is the, I mean, the material, but I'll, I'll check it. And if you're interested, I can post something about this on the community page. And I'm recording this video a bit differently. So sometimes, again, I feel like an old granny because I don't know where to look in my cell phone, but that's okay. Um, and this second yarn here, this one, it's written in English. So yay. It's a Norwegian yarn factory. Oh, it says it's from the 1888. It's old. Um, but yeah, this Sennes Garn. Garn is yarn. I don't know in which language, but I learned this. Yeah, so this yarn is also very soft. I liked it a lot, and that's why I wanted to buy this skein of yarn to test. And she also gave me two skeins of yarn of their own brand. And I'm very happy to have received this. Um, this one is 100% cotton. Look how beautiful is this color. And you can see here, let it focus. My goodness. Oh, yeah. <gasps> you can see the name of the, the brand here. And the color is very beautiful. This one she gave to me. And this one is also their brand. Let me show it to you. Okay, now it focused. You can see that it's also their brand and it's also 100% cotton. I even liked this one more. I'm in the touch. I haven't crocheted with any of this. I still haven't had the opportunity because I'm still traveling, but I will definitely do some tests. And this one seems even more soft. I really liked it. And yeah, that's it. These are the ones from their brand, which um, she gave to me and I'm very happy with that and she also gave me a souvenir which is beautiful look at how beautiful this envelope is and there is the brand name here and my goodness look at this so there is like a ruler here and also this part you can measure the size of the knitting needle yeah I, I loved it and you can see the name of their brand also here. Thank you so much, Tante Room. <laughs> You're amazing and I loved this gift. I was very happy to have received this and the bag is awesome. For sure, I will use it every time I travel now. I'll put some yarns here because yeah, I, I, bought, I brought here to my trip um, two, because I'm looking at it there. That's why I'm looking. I brought two skeins of yarn and one crochet hook because I cannot live without crochet and luckily um there was no problem carrying the crochet hook inside the plane it has always been a concern because i don't want to lose my my crochet hooks and you know i like to crochet with tulip and it's a bit expensive so i did I, i've always been very afraid of having to leave that in the airport because i don't know they might consider it dangerous but thank god it didn't happen and they allowed me to uh, board the plane with the crochet hook so i have two skeins of yarn and one crochet hook but from now on every time i travel i will put my things here because it's very beautiful okay and since i'm showing you the things that i bought in the Tante ground store i decided to show you the yarns that i bought in the other stores too so these two i bought a white skein of yarn called onion i showed you before and this one is an embroidery thread it really looks like people here like to do embroidery stuff because all the the stores that i went there was like a big section for um, embroidery threads it's interesting 
and I wish I had more time to embroider as well and I'm not that good with it I used to embroider when I was a kid and this is how I started with crafts actually because and I started like with nine ten years old doing some sort of embroidery I really liked it back then but I don't have the time anymore because now I am super focused on crochet and everything I mean grooming related so I don't have time for it anymore but I bought this one just because you know I like to use this type of thin threads to create eyebrows and eyelashes in amigurumis so this was the first store that I went called Sommerflugen and again sorry for my pronunciation but this Sommerflugen store I bought these two and the second store that I went was Oldestand no idea but I bought these two skeins of yarn I don't I, I always tell you this I don't spend my money like that way buying hundred skeins of yarn that I don't know if I ever use so if I purchase a skein of yarn is mostly because I already have a project in mind so I won't waste my money and you see that I went in a store and I bought two skeins of yarn I went in another store and I bought two skeins of yarn and it's not a rule like if I didn't see anything that interested me, I would I would not purchase. But I liked the color and the yarn, that's why I wanted to give it a try. This Gepard is called Cotton Baby here also, but it's not 100% cotton, but it's very interesting. It's 80% cotton, 20% something <laughs> that I also don't know what it is, um, but it has like a very soft touch. I guess because they are not 100% cotton, um, it's even more soft. Cotton yarn is good, it gives like a good structure in the amigurumis, but it also has like a tendency to have a more robust aspect. While when the yarn is a bit mixed like this, uh, it tends to be more soft as well. It's not a rule, but it's just something that might happen. And I also told you that there is one yarn from Brazil that I liked a lot, and this yarn was like 58% cotton, 42% acrylic and it, it is very good to work for amigurumis because it does give like the good stitch definition and structure that we want to create amigurumis but in the same time it's okay my microphone is turned on <laughs> oh dear lord the behind the scenes okay but it also um, has this soft touch that does not um, harm our wrists or our fingers while we crochet and that's why I'm also interested in this kind of thread this one seems to be a very interesting one. And the second skein of yarn that I bought is this Rowan, this Rowan yarn. It is written to, um, made with Egyptian cotton. Looks fancy, but it is 100% cotton. This is my first time. I always heard about this Egyptian cotton and I, I heard that it's something expensive and fancy but this one was not well not expensive at all i would have to make some some calculations because denmark uses another currency they don't use euros so it's always difficult for me to make the how do you say that i mean it's always difficult to calculate how is it in danish money and euros or dollars etc but it was not very expensive you just have to know that um, it was like a regular price for a skein of yarn, especially because it does have a very good quality. It's not moisturized. I mean, it's 100% cotton. It's not moisturized, but it, it does have like a soft touch. Not as soft as this one, for example. And yeah, this one is made in Hungary. Mm, let me see. What else can I tell you about this yarn? Something that I understand, you right? Yeah, I think that's it. There's nothing else that I understand that I can share with you. But these two skeins of yarn I oops, I bought in the Oudested store. Lastly, I bought two beautiful accessories and I, I really want to share it with you. I know there are still two stores to go and um, I'm recording this video right now and then I'll take a shower to go outside because there are, as I said, there are two stores um, that I want to visit. I hope to have time because today is my last day here in Copenhagen. So I really want to go there um, and I hope to have time to do it today. Otherwise, there will be less stores to visit. I will show you the accessories that I bought, which are very beautiful. The first accessory is this, I didn't, I didn't buy it in any yarn store. Um, I bought these things in one of the touristic points here in the city, which is a 
beautiful uh, tower, like a big tower that you can see the whole city on top of it. And they have like a sort of a gift shop on top of the store and they sell like um, notebooks and pens, pencils, lots of craft stuff like that. And they also had this accessories that I bought. My husband saw this and he was like, this is so nice, this is so beautiful, you have to purchase this for crochetniks. <laughs> and so here I am. The first accessory is this beautiful scissor here. Guys, look how beautiful it is. I mean, this is made here in Denmark. Let me focus. It's so beautiful. I, I love this scissors and I was looking for a beautiful one because I use an old pair of scissors since I was like, I don't know, 15, year old, 15 years old. I usually don't buy that much stuff, but my scissors were so old that depending on the yarn, it was difficult to cut. And I was like, okay, I have to buy a new pair of scissors. So this was already on my to buy list. So that's why I have this beautiful scissors right now. And I also bought this ruler. It's also like um, part of this collection. They had more accessories, but the other ones were not that interesting for me. I mean, for the business, for crocheteniks, but this scissors were super beautiful. And look what it's written. I really hope you can see this. Yeah, now let me get this straight. This is awesome. I loved this, this ruler. It's very beautiful. It has some, details here that I'm sorry I don't know how to say that right now and that's it these are the things that I bought really hope you like it let me go now to the last few stores hopefully I will find everything that I want because there are some things that I want to buy in this next source let's continue in this yarn tour in Copenhagen <sighs> after a long walk I finally got to the yarn store this one was a bit far from my hotel but I really wanted to come here. Oh, today's not the best weather ever. I mean, it's a bit rainy, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to enter in this store. This store is crowded and it's very difficult to record because there are so many people here that it's difficult not to record their faces and we cannot do that but I found some cotton yarn here at the back I never used the cotton yarn from Mondial I'm looking forward to try this one and it is also a very cozy cafe so I'll see if there's a spot for me <laughs> so I can hang out here for a bit but I don't know how much of the store can I show do you see how beautiful it is there are some beautiful places here to sit, knit, and take some coffee. Look at these drawers, how beautiful they are, like very vintage style with beautiful buttons. I'm in love with it. And I hope you can hear the background song, like some sort of jazz. <laughs> it's amazing. selected some colorful yarn and now I am trying to decide which color of this cotton yarn am I going to take. I hope my microphone is working. Um, I'm in the yarn store right now and there were some empty places here upstairs and the cafe is really nice and the yarn store is huge, you could see that. Um, it's super crowded. I saw on their website that uh, there was a warning that during the winter season, I think it lasts until March or April, something like that, um, you can stay in the cafe as long as you buy some yarn and it has like uh, an amount of time that you can stay here up to two hours something like that and I was like mm. yeah at first I thought that they were exaggerating but they are not this place is crowded and it was super difficult for me to record 
because I didn't want to record people's faces and um, not that I didn't want to. Um, it's usually not allowed to do that. Um, so I was doing my best to respect people and I have my cup of coffee and a croissant here because I'll take these two hours to relax a little bit and also work. Um, I have to upload these videos on my computer as well. So I'll take this moment to do that. I also bought some yarn. Not that much because I'm a bit tired and I couldn't think of any project for the yarn. They have like amazing yarns and lots of um, different brands and beautiful colors. But I always tell you this and I'm not lying when I say that I don't spend my money without a purpose. I always buy yarn with a purpose. And I got here excited to get to know the store and talk to people, but it's so crowded that there is no space for that. Um, so it's not 100% what I had in mind. I like to connect to people and talk and share experiences like the one I told you that I had in a previous store, the Dante Grown. But although this is a big place, um, it's so crowded that the owners of the store, they don't have that much time to, to talk. The lady was super nice to me. She started speaking Danish and I was like, <laughs> it was funny because she was speaking and speaking, speaking. And after a while, I started speaking in English with her and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, you don't speak Danish. And she was super nice and all, but she doesn't have time to chat, clearly. She has to work, of course, and the store is crowded good for her um, yeah but that's it um, I see that it is um, it has a nice atmosphere the woman's downstairs because I'm the only person here I think everyone wants to interact downstairs but I wanted to record the video as well and it wouldn't be the best place to do that um, downstairs but they are like chatting and they're talking and there was a moment that I was paying for my coffee and let me drink it a little bit because otherwise it will get cold coffee is good by the way and they sent me milk I usually yeah this is milk and I I don't drink milk like this but that's okay I prefer like a uh, good cup of hot coffee without sugar without milk and very strong <laughs> anyways um, it was funny because I was paying for my coffee downstairs and a woman was knitting and then another woman came in the store and she was like hey and they started speaking Danish of course I couldn't understand but I saw that they knew each other and 30 seconds later another woman came in and they were oh it looks like they were saying something like I cannot believe you're here and they just sat together and started chatting and I saw it happening quite a while while I was looking at the yarn like people come in here it looks like they do that very often and it looks like everyone knows each other which is amazing if I live here I will definitely spend some time crocheting this place because it is nice I mean you buy yarn you crochet you knit you bond with people yeah this is a great place and that's it now I will enjoy my cup of coffee and I'll talk to you later outside when I'm in the street again. I just finished my coffee and I saw that they have this part here with lots of knitting books here in the store. I think most of them are in Danish, but it's interesting. So many people come here just to chat and knit. So I think it's a nice idea to have those books displayed here in the store. Okay guys, so I just came back from the last yarn store and I'm in the hotel again. Actually, I wanted to record five different yarn stores. This was my plan since the beginning to visit at least five yarn stores. And I'll be completely honest with you, my goal was to end this yarn tour in hobby store. You know I'm such a fan of hobby. I use their cotton yarn quite a lot. I also like the polyester yarn. I like um, Baby Snuggle and Honey Bunny are like amazing yarns. It was like, okay, hobbies from Denmark. So of course, if I visit this country one day, I 
have to go to this store. So this was my goal to, and actually, to be honest again, I wanted to make like a complete video just in Hobby Store because you know how much I love them. But okay, so I visit all the stores that I showed you and also this last store um, called Wool Sock. Since the beginning, I thought it was a bit weird. I, I hope this image is good. Um, I thought it was a bit weird because if you Google like Hobby Store in Copenhagen, which is the capital of Denmark, um, I didn't see any store and I was like, I know that they have lots of stores in the country, but I couldn't find in Google. So I tried to contact someone from Hobby, like, just to verify, because there was like an address nearby, not that close, like four or five kilometers away from the hotel that I am. So I was considering taking the bus or, I don't know, the subway to get there. Uh, but luckily, someone answered my email and unfortunately they do not have a store here in Copenhagen. They do have lots of stores in Denmark, but they are in other cities and I don't have time to go to other cities because this trip is kind of short um, and I'm going back to Finland tomorrow. So I am really, really early tomorrow. So that will, I won't have enough time to visit other cities. It's a pity. I really wanted to, to get to know Hobby Store in person, but that's okay. Um, so that's it. For this video, we'll have only four stores. And you now know that although Hobby is indeed like an amazing brand and it's a very big company, they have stores in Denmark, but not in Copenhagen, unfortunately. That's all learned. <laughs> and now let me show you the yarns that I bought in Woolstock. Um, I bought this one called Cotton Soft from Mondial. Um, this is the first cotton yarn that I have seen from this, this brand. You know, I used their polyester fiber for plush yarns and there is another video in the channel. I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it later because I recommend their polyester yarn a hundred percent. The the yarn is so good it has such a good quality it does not split that easily while you crochet you can see the stitch as well so it's a very beginner friendly plush yarn um, that's why i liked it so much but their cotton yarn which is my favorite type of yarn and you know that i have never tested before and this one is very nice it has like a soft touch um it's not the first bio cotton yarn that I have touched. And it looks like all this sustainable, I don't know, trend. Um, they do have like a better, not a better, but they feel like they are a bit more soft. But I, I'm not sure how would it be to crochet with this yarn. So I will test and if you're interested in it, maybe I can make a review about these yarns as well. So this is the Mondial and I also bought this one because there's been a while I wanted this yarn and this is um, Creative Make It Glitter from Hiko Design. This is the yarn and look how shiny it is. Wow, it's very pretty and they have different um, variations of colors because you can see that this is mixed there are lots of colors in this yarn and they have different tones as well but this was my favorite one and i have like a plan for this yarn i do have i told you before i always have plans for the yarn that i buy but although i have a plan for this i don't know when am i going to work with it because there are so many things going on right now and I do have a busy schedule, not only because of my um, college duties, but I do have a busy schedule. And there are lots of interesting plans here for crochet mix. So that's why I will not crochet with it right now. But when I have the time to put this plan into practice, this yarn here is definitely the one that I will use. And that's it for this video, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this yarn store tour as much as I did. You saw how difficult it was for me to do it. And well, I did my best. So please, please, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and 
well, if you didn't like it, don't do anything. <laughs> well, I really did my best. Like, I broke lots of inside barriers because it's not easy to expose yourself and record videos outside so yeah i really did my best and i hope you enjoyed this video i don't have future trips planned but who knows maybe next time i travel to a new place i can record another yarn store too another yarn store tour. remember to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any new free pattern tutorials or crochet vlogs who knows i'll see you in the next videos bye bye